Group A had the bulk of the traveling. They had a schedule that went from uh, Brussels to Johannesburg, back to Gothenburg, Sweden, and then over to uh, Montreal if, if one made the doubles finals, which was just completed last week. But uh, the uh, real grind was just the, the number of tournaments in succession without a break. Uh, I haven't had a, a week off since the uh, third week in January and will not have one off until the third week in June, until the second week in June, after the uh, Italian championships in Rome. Does your tennis suffer as a result? Uh, the tennis goes up and down, yes. Um, which is one reason why I just think that uh, Stan Smith just must have something that uh, none, none of the rest of us have. Because <laughs> I just really don't understand how a guy can peak like that uh, for such a long period of time without really uh, having his game suffer. and. Uh, Although the players in Group B, my group, thought that at the lower levels, that is in the first two rounds, uh, Group A was noticeably weaker than Group B. Still, if you're going to win the tournament, you have to win five matches, and that means you're being on the court five days out of seven in a week, in successive weeks, and that's a lot of tennis.